السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ ان دا نیم آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی دی موسٹ فارگیون دا موسٹ مارسیفل وی سینٹ پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز اپن دا پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آئی تھینک اللہ سبحان و تعالی فو granting me the opportunity to be here and uh, to be witness in this program with the beautiful faces of our brothers and sisters we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this a success and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all our ibadah we've engaged in throughout the month of ramadan and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen us Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy actually to be here. The last time I was, I came to Lagos, I can't remember, so many years ago. So Alhamdulillah, I am here. And for this beautiful program, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us. Ameen. If we look at the theme of the event here, the ideal Muslim home, it's a beautiful theme. It's actually a very beautiful theme. When we say the ideal Muslim home, so what comes to your mind? The ideal Muslim home. Of course, we think about a Muslim home. Just a Muslim home? No, the ideal one. So what is, you know, an ideal Muslim home? It's very important for us to know that we are happy, of course, to be Muslims. We are happy to be from among the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we, ha we are happy to be part of, you know, the beautiful religion of Islam. So for an ideal Muslim home, it's a big topic. But I'd just like to say one or two things. And this is to do with the parents as well as the children. The parents as well as the children. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses, uh, you know, the parents with children, one thing that is supposed to always be in their minds is, you know, Islam and how the children are supposed to come up and how they are supposed to teach the children good morals and bring them up in the best way, in a way that they represent Islam wherever they go to. In a way that they represent Islam wherever they go to. It's actually hard during this type of era we are in because like the speaker before me said, there is so much distractions, you know, music, sports, and so many other things that are there. But inshallah, when the parents do try and they put in so much effort, it's not by their power, but by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when the parents try and when the children also try, inshallah, there would be an ideal Muslim home, a home where there is, you know, good morals, teachings, Islam, and following the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, when we say an ideal Muslim home, you just have to go and look at the life of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And everything is just there for you to see and copy and do exactly as he did. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best to his own family, to his own, to his own home. He said, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ وَأَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best from among you is one who is best to his family or home or spouse and I am the best from among you to my own home. The Prophet ﷺ said. So it's important we try our best as parents and the children as well, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let's remember we are good Muslims, good guys, good sisters and we want to make our parents proud and we want to be good ambassadors of Islam. Forget about all, you know, you see the musicians making money and the footballers becoming famous and all the actors and actresses gaining fame on social media. That is nothing compared to if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with you. Look at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was no social media, no Facebook, no Instagram, no Twitter, no TikTok, no Snapchat, no WhatsApp. And today, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have billions of Muslims. Every day more people join in Islam. 
Today, Islam has the most popularity in the whole world. What brought about it? No social media. It's just the, the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So just try your best to ensure that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you would want to please. And in any field you are in, you could also become famous, you could also become rich, you could also be popular in a good way. But don't be after becoming popular through the bad way, for example. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us inshallah beautiful homes. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina kurrata ayun wa jalna lil muttaqina imama. O our Lord, grant us, you know, children, spouses, offspring that will be the coolness of our eyes. Wa jalna lil muttaqina imama and make us for the righteous or the pious good examples or good leaders barakallahu fikum aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh